kick off our active forecast with showers on Sunday and I'll also be discussing and tracking our next wave of precipitation later on in the week. All ahead in the early morning forecast. The UConn women preparing to play Southern Carolina in the national title game. We're going to hear from the Huskies in Minneapolis. Chicago fans with all eyes on March Madness, and we're hearing from fans inside. Connecticut's number one local news. This is Channel 3 Eyewitness News. And first up tonight, we're taking a look at your weather as we get appearance of a video that was shot earlier tonight in Middletown. It's the end of what was a very pleasant Saturday in our state, but will things stay the same for the second half of this weekend? Thanks for joining us here at Eyewitness News at 11. I'm Kevin Hogan. You may be seeing some rain for part of your Sunday tomorrow, so just how much can we expect? And with more on that, let's turn things right over to meteorologist Connor Lewis. Connor. Kevin, we're looking at some showers for tomorrow, and so it's going to be chilly for you when you're waking up as well. And and we got overcast for tomorrow morning, so that's kind of the thing that we got to, um, you know, any of you early risers, definitely make sure that you're wearing a few layers because it's going to be super chilly without the addition of the sunshine out there. But the rain is going to hold off for the morning, so tomorrow morning is a good opportunity to get some chores done around the house. And then we're looking at the showers coming our way in the afternoon. Torrington, Salisbury, Western Connecticut kicking things off, and then we'll see better shower chance across the entire state 